Hi, this is Rick Patterson. Thanks for coming to my video today. Today we're going to talk about how to repair a leaking bathtub faucet. Now the first thing you want to do is feel the water. Okay? And the water that's dripping out right here, it's cold. Alright? So that tells me my leak is coming on the cold water side. If it was hot, obviously, it would be coming from the hot water side. So traditionally, when you're working with a um, a, any kind of faucet, traditionally, if it's plumbed right, the hot water is going to be on the left hand and the um, cold water is going to be on the right hand. So that's a general rule. If it's done correctly now, just go check your faucets and find out for yourself. But in this case, it was plumbed correctly. I have felt the water and it's cold water. So I'm going to be working on the right hand side here. So first thing you want to do is go to your cutoff valve. Now there's usually two places in most homes where you can do this. One is uh, out at the curb. Uh, you find where your meter is and you take a curb key and then you go turn uh, that off perpendicular and not in line with the, with the uh, water line going to your house but perpendicular crossways and uh, that's the off position. Okay. There's several ways to do that. One is that you can just turn some water off, faucet on in your house, go outside to the street, open up the curb lid, if you will, the meter lid to the curb, and then um, lift it up and look at your meter. It will be spinning. The little red indicator will be spinning if it's the old style. If it's the newer style where it's electronic readout, uh, you'll have a digital readout where that's happening. And um, what you do is just take the curb key and turn it and, um, until it's perpendicular. So the, little, the key itself is just turned where the uh, shutoff valve is perpendicular crossways to uh, your line going to your house. Okay? Uh, the other way is uh, going to inside of your home, whether it's sometimes it's in the garage, uh, sometimes it's in a basement. Um, or sometimes it's just in your uh, the same closet or same space where your hot water heater is or what we call it nowadays is water heater and what you do is uh, again turn that valve perpendicular so it'll be in line and so you just turn it um, either way left or right usually it's up to turn it off sometimes it's down but whatever it works where it turns the water off then you want to come back into the bathroom or the tub or somewhere it's convenient and test that. Okay. Now let's say that your uh, all your plumbing, you'll say your water heaters upstairs, uh, your water lines are up in the attic and they're coming down into the house. You want to turn a faucet on and let the line inside your home completely drain out and. Um, that could speed up through flushing the toilet or just turning on a, a faucet, if you will, in the bathtub or shower or in the, the bathroom here like I'm in. Uh, just turn the water on the cold side until it's completely drained out. Now because we're working on the cold side, you want to do that. If it's at the um, hot side, what you would do is just turn off that valve or you could do something else is just go to the water heater and turn the cutoff valve that the water supply goes into the water heater and just turn it off, I'm sorry, that comes out, not necessarily into, but sometimes it's on the outside as well. So whatever fits you, go to that water supply, whether it's hot or cold, turn the water off, whether it's at the curb for the whole house. Uh, if you're in an apartment, sometimes that doesn't work, and uh, you'll have that uh, cutoff valve at your water heater or inside um, or you know sometimes if you're in a condo where you're sharing the same space with eight other or four other condos within your building you have to make arrangements
for the uh, maintenance man to come and give uh, notice to everyone saying that water will be turned off for a couple hours or two hours or however that works and have that done for you. But in case you're in a home, uh, most, of my, most of the people that watch this uh, kind of videos like yourself or, or do-it-yourselfers or DIY home, home fix-it people. So if you're in a home, you want to do those, one of those things there. By the way, before you go, I want to encourage you to check out my other videos. And you'll see a link below. Click on it. The 1,000th person that subscribes to thehandymantoolbox.com gets a free tool. Go ahead and register now. See you there.